This one's on it. This one's on it. Got him. Oh, dang, man. Can you see them? God, this water is just crystal clear. Oh, got him. Kuda on, baby. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, she's going to jump. He's going to jump. Jump. Fish on, baby. Ooh, we got a big old mackerel. Check that out. Ooh, so we're in the Gulf of Mexico here, and we're doing something entirely different today, guys. We had a really beautiful morning this morning, running out here, and it's been pretty difficult for us to produce because this is something entirely new to me, fishing the Gulf. I've always fished the Atlantic out in front of my house here in the Keys, but we ran probably about 50 miles today. We're actually in front of Big Pine Key right now, and we have a big old mackerel on right now. And basically what we're doing is we're just running around in the boat. We're uh, just looking for signs of life, like dolphins, turtles, and um, as soon as we find something, we'll slow down, we'll idle around in the boat, and um, we'll see what we can find. We found a turtle. And what we did is we dropped the trolling motor, put it on spot lock, and this is the first fish of the day so far. So that right there is a mackerel. Um, people love to eat these. Me on the other hand, I don't know if I'm gonna keep anything today. I'm kinda just fishing for fun, just seeing what we can come up with, trying some new stuff out. But we're definitely going to de-hook him let him live for another day. Look at how we got him perfectly in the mouth right there. See you later, dude. So, I am not even kidding you guys. We have ran 180 miles today. We burned 50 gallons of fuel, which is basically an entire tank in this Pathfinder. We started here in Key Largo, first thing in the morning. We ran into Everglades National Park. We ran into the Gulf of Mexico. We ran down to Big Pine Key, and now we're all the way back up in Tavernier. So to say the least, we have put in our time. We have put in work today trying to catch a fish, and um, this is kind of our last resort. We came to one of our favorite spots here. If you guys watched our last video on the Queen Snapper, um, this is a beautiful little sandbar. Nick and I just pulled up here to just check it out, regroup, and just think about something to film. So in the meantime, there is a couple barracuda busting on a bunch of bait here. So we're just gonna throw out some baits real quick and see if we can pull on some barracudas, just mess around. Definitely been an interesting day, but here we are trying to put something together. So let's see what we could do. On it. Got him. Oh, dang, man. Can you see them? God, this water is just crystal clear. Oh, got him. Kuda on, baby. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, she's going to jump. He's going to jump. You ready? Come on, jump, 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 jump. <sighs> Come on, man. Crystal clear water. Catching these barracudas. This is absolutely sick. <laughs> 
That is so awesome, man. Woo! Took us all day to produce, but hey, I'm not gonna lie, Barracuda is not my favorite thing to catch, but at the end of the day, just being in a setting like this and just messing around here, I mean, this takes me back to when I was a kid, just fishing off of my dock, catching whatever I possibly could. Barracuda, sharks, mangrove snappers. But man, it does not get any better than this. It's crazy, the fishing shuts off, but the beauty just turns on. It's crazy, the water clears up, gets nice crystal clear and blue. So this is all I need right here, man. This is what it's all about. Just get him underneath the gill here. Try not to get my fingers taken off. Like I said though, it doesn't get any more beautiful than this setting. Literally getting to see these fish feed in this crystal clear water, you can't beat it, honestly. That is so crazy, man. Cool, let's see if we can catch another one. So what's so cool about what we're doing here, guys, and what's so cool about this water being so crystal clear is the fact that we literally get to sight fish these barracudas. Now, sight fishing is easily one of my favorite types of fishing because you literally get to see the bite. It's insane. But if you do ever decide to do this, whether it's you know inshore fishing, offshore fishing, dolphin fishing, always have the sun to your back because that way the sun is lighting up what's in front of you versus looking into the sun. When you look into the sun, there's always gonna be a glare. So if you put the sun to your back, you'll be able to see so much better. And a lot of the times, there will be things in front of you that you don't even know that are there if you're looking into the sun. Eat it, eat it. Look at that, look at that. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. He's gotta eat that. He was so interested for a second. He's coming back, he's coming back. He's coming back. There he goes. Oh, dude, that was sick. Oh, I just let go. There he goes, second time. <laughs> That's sick. That was so cool, man. He came up, ate it, came back again. God, man, that is awesome. This one is a lot bigger than the last one, too. That is absolutely sick. How about that, man? This time we got some wire on him. I was tired of getting broken off, so I just tied it on real quick. You don't have to worry about those break-offs. A lot harder to get the bite. That's why he was so weary at first. Woo! But he ended up giving in in the end. Never met Barracuda that'll resist a ballyhoo. Let's bring him over on this side. The craziest part about all of it is my house is right there. Five miles and I get to come and do this. Insane, man. Look at that fish, man. That is one mean, ugly, nasty looking fish right there. I'm gonna tell you what, he sure does put up a good fight though. So most sport fishermen like me, they're not really big fans of catching barracuda just because a lot of the times um, their bycatch when we're trying to catch fish like sailfish and um, you know tunas but one thing I do have to say is when nothing else is biting it's still pretty cool catching them but that is awesome man I mean making chicken salad out of chicken you know what that ain't too bad so cool look at those teeth man I mean, you want to talk about some chompers. 
And that's why if you do want to catch one of these fish, you either got to be real quick on them, get the hook right in the corner of their mouth so they're not touching the leader, or you use some wire. We did it both ways, but man, that is really, really cool. So we just made it back here to our house. For those of you that don't know, you guys are new to life by the bow. This is where we live. This is our home in the Florida Keys. This is our dock. And every single time I go out fishing and I come back here, I sit here and scratch my head and wonder why I even go out on a boat to go fishing when there is just fish loaded underneath my dock. But no, on a serious note, we typically go out on the boat fishing just because we do a lot of sport fishing. Um, this right here is more of like casual um, meat fishing. You can eat mangrove snapper if you want, but we don't eat our mangrove snapper because they're our pets. Sometimes we do, every once in a while, but for the most part, we just leave them alone. But it's just so cool. I mean, we have, like I mentioned, the mangrove snapper. There's a sheep's head down there right now. Um, we have all kinds of grunts. I've even seen groupers, permit. Um, I've caught multiple tarpon off of this dock. But don't let me ever find you guys in my backyard because I'm always watching up there on my office. But no, on a serious note, um, whenever I come back and I have live baits, whenever I toss them in the water, these snapper just go absolutely insane feeding on them. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna show you guys what happens whenever we toss the baits in the water and um, these fish will just go ballistic. <laughs> They're like saltwater piranhas. Look at them just right there on the surface. That's insane. <laughs> wow, man. Never gets old. So it is actually a day later and typically when we end a video, it typically ends with a catch, clean and cook, but we're not eating barracudas. And I've been thinking, what can I do to give this video an outro? Something that's actually worth people wanting to watch. And if you ask me, this is pretty worth it right here. So this is a little beach out in Florida Bay that we had just discovered. And I had the camera with me and I was like, dang man, if I'm gonna end a video anywhere, I'm gonna end it here because it is just so beautiful. I mean, it's nice, hard, white sand. And the, it's sunny, it's, the water's perfect temperature. You got a nice breeze going, so it's not too hot, mm -hmm. but it feels perfect. And man, can I tell you, does it look gorgeous too. And not to mention, it's 80 degrees. It's in I the know. 80s, easily. Here we are in South Florida, the entire United States, other people around the world are freezing. You're in a bikini, you know, I'm dressed in black. I'm not really playing the part too well, but um, it's just so beautiful and it's just so nice to be here. And it's unfortunate that you couldn't be in this video, but here she is at the end. Fortunately, you know, we're busy people sometimes and we can't always get together and do videos together, even though we do live in the same house. We yeah. sleep in the same bed every night, but we got a lot going on. And um, if you guys are watching this video on a Wednesday, we're getting married on Saturday. Yep. Super excited, super. I'm looking forward to it, a little nervous. Yep. Hopefully I can keep it together for my vows. But... Have we decided, are we gonna put the wedding video on YouTube? Um, we can give them a glimpse, just a little, 
glimpse of it would Fair be nice. Enough. Yeah. Fair enough. How about this? Write down in the comments if you want to see our wedding video. Yeah. So let's see. Let's see how many people actually want to see it. But if you guys have made it this far, I appreciate it so much. Um, growing, summertime's coming. A lot more of this beauty. We're always going to have this beauty right here <laughs> next to me. But if you guys could, we'd really appreciate it if you like, subscribe. You know, tell us what you thought down in the comments. But until next time, we appreciate you guys so much. We'll see you next week. All right. Bye.